Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Deepak and I welcome you all to another important scheme session. So today we are going to cover a very important scheme and the name of scheme is Beti Bachao Beti Padao. This lecture will be important for your upcoming RBA grade B as well as NABAD grade examination. We are going to cover this lecture in very much detailed manner so that this lecture will be important for your phase 1 and phase 2 of these examinations. So let's start this lecture. Before starting this lecture, I would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to receive free current affairs PDFs, you can always subscribe to our Telegram channel. Link is in description. Now, before starting this lecture, I have an announcement for you all that currently we are running three different courses for RBA Grade B 2023. Do check out the courses. Link is in description. Now, why Government of India has loaned this scheme? As per Census 2011, the sex ratio in India was 943 per thousand males in the country. So, sex ratio means the there were 943 females in the country on every thousand male. Now, this was the alarming situation for the country. So, government thought of initiating a scheme so that the protection of girl child will be targeted. And also, under the scheme, they want to target, uh, they want to provide some kind of education to the girl child. Now, this scheme was launched by Honorable Prime Minister on 22 January 2015 and the place where the scheme was launched is Panipat, Haryana. Objective of this scheme was to bring behavioral change in the society towards birth, right, birth and rights of girl child. As the Indian society has some kind of misconception towards the girl child to aware them to bring clarity among the Indian society, government has launched this initiative to bring some kind of behavioral change in the Indian society. About, about the birth and right of the girl child. Now, this scheme addresses the declining child sex ratio and also it is addressing the related issue of women empowerment over their life cycle. Now, talking about this scheme, this scheme was initially launched in 100 districts in the country in 2014-15 in phase 1 but in phase 2 this was later on extended to 61 additional district in the country but in 2018 this scheme was expanded to 640 district in the country now this scheme is a joint effort of three ministries and these three ministries are ministry of women and child development ministry of health and family welfare ministry of education but later on Two another ministries has partnered in this schemes and this uh, two ministries Ministry of Skill Development, Ministry of Minority Affairs. Now why these two ministries has partnered under this scheme? To bring, to undertake a special drive and awareness program to promote higher education in the country. Okay, and also they want to provide some kind of skill to girls so that they could take care of themselves, they could be financially independent in the country clear right? now objective of this scheme is so the overall long term objective of this scheme is to improve child sex ratio in the country okay, right? and also they want to create an enabling environment for all around development of a girl child in the country okay, right? they want to improve the child sex ratio and also provide enabling environment to girl child so that all round development to the girl child would be uh, given now, the immediate, ob immediate objective of these schemes are to prevent child se selection, uh, child sex selection, prevent child sex selection. Second is to ensure survival and protection of girl child. And third is to ensure education of the girl. So, first they want to prevent child sex selection so that feticide does not happen in the country. Because birth right should be given to the girl child. This was the clear motto of the central government in the country. So, they want to prevent the sex selection, so the birth rights to the girl child will be given. Later on, the second objective is to ensure that girl child survives and they want to provide protection to the girl child. And the third objective is to provide education to that girl child. First is to save them, then is to protect them and then is to uh, educate them. Here. Now, the target beneficiaries of this schemes are girl child, the women and the community at large. So, 
these are the target beneficiaries of this particular schemes now the target groups to which government will be targeting are the primary target group would be the married couple new married couple those who are planning those who are planning their family okay. pregnant and lactating mothers awareness will be given to them and parents secondary would be youth adolescent like girls and boys in laws medical doctors practitioners private hospitals nursing homes diagnostic center and the tertiary target group are officials panchayat raj institution frontline worker so basically under this scheme all the stakeholders of indian society will be targeted here so that the idea of the rights or birth right or idea of providing the protection and the rights to girl child will be spread all over the country okay now the key elements or the key components of this particular schemes are enforcement of pre conception and pre natal diagnostic technique act okay pre natal diagnostic techniques means these are the techniques these are the technical uh, techniques or say these are the techniques under which diagnosis of the fetus happen and the uh, sex of that particular fetus will be determined and later on the actions were taken by the particular parents okay ji now under this scheme government has launched this act to provide the protection to the fetus, uh, fetus so that female fetishide does not happen in the country okay ji they want to improve the child's sex, uh, sex ratio in the country so that that's why this act was launched and the next component of this scheme was is to bring a nationwide awareness and advocacy campaign towards the dalit child <coughs> third component of this scheme is to is multi sectoral action in selected general critical district so in selected district some kind of action would be taken under this scheme okay yeah, ji so that child sex ratio would be improved clear yeah. now that's all about this king hope you have liked this lecture do press the like button you like this lecture also do share your comments or views on this lecture in the comment section below also you can visit our website at www.mentorspace.in to check out our courses theek hai ji now see you tomorrow till then prepare hard